In Texas, an 11-month baby girl fighting COVID-19 had to be airlifted to get treatment. There were no beds available in any of the pediatric hospitals in Houston. It gets me kind of mad that like everybody's taking COVID as a joke and it's not a joke. Like it's very, very serious. Our babies are in danger. In Louisiana, this 17-year-old with Down syndrome has been fighting for his life for the past week at a pediatric intensive unit of the Children's Hospital in New Orleans. He was uh, very sick. Yeah, he, was, he, was, uh, he couldn't do vomiting. anything. Yeah. I would need everyone to take precaution because it is serious. It is serious and no one wants to sit up here and watch their child fight for their life. The highly contagious Delta variant is sending more children to hospitals. The U.S. reported nearly 94,000 pediatric cases last week, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, an increase of more than 30 percent above the previous week. Florida is seeing the highest rate of pediatric hospitalizations, according to data collected by the CuffKid Project. 341 admissions in one week. Texas is reporting the highest total number of children infected, 259 as of Wednesday. There is no question that we are seeing increased rates of hospitalization across the country. Last week, in fact, nationally was the highest number of children admitted since the pandemic began. Here in Miami, we have 25 children hospitalized today. Some are in the ICU, some are on the regular floor. About 10% of children in our hospital are here because of COVID. Do you think this higher number of hospitalizations in children, it's just a correlation of a higher number of cases? Or do you think the Delta variant in some ways are, is affecting children more? What's your take at this moment? I think we're still waiting to see the evidence on that. And it's really unclear today if the Delta variant is making children sicker, and that's why we're seeing more children in the hospital, or if it's simply numbers that because of the increased contagiousness of the Delta variant, we're just seeing more children affected, and that's why we've seen this bump in hospitalizations. Due to the overall increase in COVID-19 cases in Florida, the state's health department confirmed it requested 300 additional ventilators from the federal government. Authorities are preparing for the worst. Doctors want to remind parents that they do have options to protect their children from the coronavirus, especially those 12 and over, eligible for vaccines. None of our children that have been hospitalized have been vaccinated. So that's an important thing for, for, for people to understand. So that's one. The use of masks is still recommended, as we talked about before. It does provide that barrier, the reduction of the viral load. What's alarming many across the country is that yeah. these pediatric hospitalizations are spiking just as kids are getting ready to go back to school. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.